think we were playing with a few musicians and playing the Dakota. And, and, Glenn uh, and, and me. yes, and then the Lemington and Glenn and Lee and and, and then it then it was Bobby. And so anyway, this incredible trio, and I was really learning, and Billy was teaching me by going, listen to Ernestine Anderson, listen to Nancy Wilson, listen and we did oh, yeah. growing up have that as influences what, in the what house. Mom and dad listened to. Well, yeah. yeah, but not Ernestine. And so she no. had a pocket that I was like, Oh, Smoking. I get this. Portland, you know. Yeah. And then Ooh. at 31, I just had my third kid, and I was singing a lot of jingles, just starting to get into that business as a young adult. And uh, quite honestly, I was hired for my soulful voice. But as a right. result, I found that there was a studio out in the western suburbs where they we could record something live mm -hmm. in the studio. And I called you, I remember being in the parking lot going... Hey, we could record live in this studio. What do you think? So you put together, <laughs> you put together. Don't throw me in that briar patch. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Kenny Horse, David Hazeltine, Kenny on drums, David oh. Hazeltine on piano. You, Iris Sullivan. Now yep. that was the first session, mm -hmm. and it was one day, two or three takes at a time, and you said go, and I went. What? Yeah. And it's so interesting because when I talk about that now, this many years, decades later, it's I still do, do some of those arrangements. <laughs> and it's because sure. it was in the moment creativity. Right. And he yeah. just said, oh, yeah. trust yourself. Just go, just oh. do it. I like it when you get when you're not on your center. Yeah, when you hang yourself, you're, when you're right? Exactly. When, when you recover, it's the best stuff you'll ever do. <laughs> yeah. I'll never forget that. And I went. It's a good teaching, man. Oh yes, that's and, a good teaching. Yeah. At, and, it, and I remember Ben Sidron saying, you get the, we would do, some of them were one takes, mm -hmm. and we just kept them. Some of them were two takes. And Sidron always said, make sure that if you're doing something live, please honor the fact that your most character is going to be on the first or second take. Oh, oh exactly. Yeah. And it was and like, Sidron I understand. lived with stuff that I, in the studio, wouldn't have had to have lived Solos, with. Solos, anything like that. Yeah, you yeah, know, right. Any that kind of thing always well, gets off on the first take. Right, well, right. Mm. yes. Because then you go in and you go, well, Second well, I can fix that. Yeah. Probably fix, no. Yeah. Sidron is yeah. like, no, hold on. You're not He's the you. greatest at that. Right. Yep. So yeah. it was a real humbling <laughs> learning experience yeah. for sure. Yeah. But that was that was really cool. It's I a got great it. record too. And oh, then we so went. We finished a couple of tunes. History. We had Rockwell. We did the first tune down here, and yeah. it was yeah. Rockwell. Yeah. And we used yeah. one of those, mm -hmm. Bobby Rockwell on sax, same configuration. But then it was just the trio at Metro Studios to finish it up. Right. And and was Hayes uh, in the whole record? The whole record, and Kenny and you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we did uh, Stevie Wonder's "You and I," just, just live in the studio. Yeah, I remember that. And I said, "Just go do it now." <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we went. I yeah, went. Like, okay. Hayes is putting a hurt on it, you know. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, and I'm praying for for continuity. Does did Patty come to the party? Is really Absolutely. what I want to know. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it goes for any of us, man. We all respond under the gun great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was a prime example. That's true. <laughs> Last yeah. night, right? Yeah, it really was. And it was, and it was, a, it's turned out to be so enjoyable. And the people, you just see the people's faces and you go, oh, that's why we're here. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. right. right. Patty, talk about your little brother over here. Oh. Billy, you talked about Patty. Oh, Patty, why don't you talk wow. about your little bro? Well, um, we used to love all those same, <laughs> same records that we talked about. Right. We talked about already, and um, I remember when Daydream Believer came out, and Ricky had the parts down, and you were nine or ten years old, and singing and playing like crazy. And I'm t tapping into the fact that you really are good at this. And then you started. What you, tune was it? <laughs> <laughs> You Daydream believer. Oh, God. I told you the monkeys. Yeah. Daydream, 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 mm -hmm. right. Whatever. I and loved you it. totally got it. Yeah. And then I remember you joining this band that I swiped from you because you were 10. Right, because I was too young and you, I was playing keyboards with with, a, with Dale Juarez and wasn't he Open Road? No, 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 no. Was it, it was the Simisex. Oh, was, yeah, yeah. I Bill don't remember Simisex. the name of it. Anyways. Huh? Anyway, yeah. anyway. We, um, we, much like you, Paul, we, you know, we loved Stevie, we loved Shaka, we loved yeah. uh, funk tunes, we loved R&B, mm -hmm. we were, we gravitated towards bands that did that, and we absolutely loved working together, singing together, right. which has not changed, but uh, 
Then he started to desert me and go for the bigger and better because he deserved every piece yeah. of it. Mm-hmm. Well, Whether it was good vibrations that, but... in town to meeting Bonnie Raitt to meeting David Sanborn. And it was so interesting to me when I was um, courting my, my second husband and he was working in California. I'm driving through the mountains in California listening to this sax player named David Sanborn going, oh, I love this music. Oh, in about six months you're working with him. Right. And so he became a family friend. And yeah. I've just, I've met such wonderful friends through you. But here's the thing. You're fun. You're serious. You come to the party and you shine. And when it's your turn to shine, people walk away going, what did I just experience? Wow. Again, last, last night, night a classic evident. example. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You got a standing yeah. ovulation. I did. I got a standing <laughs> ovulation. I know. We, we should have ended the show right there, actually. Now right. Right. Good night. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, it oh. was pretty exciting. I wondered if you like, might, because yeah. that, that was just so... Oh, I well, it was pretty yeah. cool. Everybody uh, talk about coming to the party. That's that's when everybody shines, is when everybody is in the moment and doing it. So 